Uh, hello.
Well, hello, hello. I am here. I will just check. Sounds good. Hi, Rajita. How are you? I am typing and you, you can hear me typing. I am doing awesome. So happy to be here and thank you for offering your help. We will we'll wait for folks to join and begin in just about five minutes. Is there a lag or something? Or is it going smooth uh, on your end? Awesome, thank you for the feedback. Hi, Varsha. How are you? Good to see you. Awesome to connect as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, Varsha, are you here in Seattle? Uh, what's your location? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. We'll just begin waiting for folks to join. It, is it not full screen? Okay, I will try it. Yeah, thanks for the feedback. How's that? Awesome. So as I'm uh, streaming this uh, live webinar, um, 
I had planned uh, Hi Nandini, how are you? Uh, good morning. So Nandini is joining us from India. Uh, yeah, so as I was um, um, planning to stream this webinar, I had that screen space uh, to for another uh, camera. Awesome. So happy to have all of you folks here. So one thing is going on that everything I'm speaking, uh, it's echoing back to me. Uh, so I have to wait for the next word to um, because it's just uh, I'm hearing myself back. So I will try something. If you cannot hear the stream, let me know. Are you still able to hear me? Hi, Anamika. Good to see you. Awesome. That, that, that worked. Yes. Thank you so much for the feedback. Hi, a big, uh, how do you say your name? Is it a big gya or a big nya? I'm so happy to see you all folks connecting over chat. So um, continue with the fun. Abhidnya. Okay, the second one. So let's begin. It's 4 p.m. PST Pacific Standard Time. This is where I am. I am in Seattle area. Uh, and uh, my name is Ashwini uh, Sadekar. I'm originally from West Central India. Uh, if you know the space, it's Pune. Um, and uh, I moved here as a software engineer. <laughs> so I'm celebrating 10 years of being in the North uh, America region. And then I moved here in 2012 as a software engineer. Hi, Ria. Um, and then I switched careers. I went to art school and um, studied art and really enjoying so far uh, my transition and, you know, how this exploration of art making is going. And then I'm learning new things. I'm teaching what I'm learning and I'm evolving in my practice. So, um, yeah. Uh, Besides that, in the parallel universe, I, uh, I'm a yoga teacher. So just exploring different aspects of uh, being into this existence. So coming back to the art practice, um, I have been trained uh, a, as a uh, colorist in the tradition of modern uh, color, uh, colorist, um, where there is a rigorous color theory knowledge, lots of practice around color theory, um, the harmony of color, how color mix and how they affect the presence of one another. So that's what I am passing on as legacy. Uh, and it's really delighting to just, you know, work with color and being um, originally from India, such a beautiful, colorful, rich heritage uh, that I really um, enjoy to celebrate that culture. Um, so yeah, you can see all colors um, within my artwork. Let's enjoy that. Um, so today I will, uh, okay, before that, um, I would like to introduce all of you to Rajita. Uh, you can see her in the chat. 
she is our monitor today she has generously um, agreed to help me um monitoring all your questions so she's there to support you if you have any questions at all just drop it in the chat and she'll get them to me and i will answer those questions for you because that's the plan that i am going to demo um and you ask questions and it could be any questions they, they could be fun questions um could be anything about me anything about the world or anything about uh, the beautiful fall colors or any technical question it could be like color mixing or what kind of materials are used or how i started my art journey and why did i switch from being an engineer to uh you know artist so with that let's begin uh anamika says i'm from seattle area welcome welcome fellow seattle uh so this is my i am turning my screen so that you can see what's going on i just decided to work with one camera today uh unlike zoom uh where i have multiple cameras for the palette and the painting so oh you get like one full view of what is happening here this is my little studio that's my glass palette this is a canvas where i'll be demoing uh, varsha is from bangalore india welcome varsha i i would love to visit bangalore sometime i have it so uh, if you need me to adjust the angle or something i will be happy to do that so let's right away get into the um painting uh i will show you as i said an insightful color mixing exercise so this color mixing exercise can be done with any uh, medium be it oil i'm using oil paints uh you can use gouache instead you can use uh, acrylic instead with watercolors uh color mixing is a is a different way with watercolors because watercolor is like fluid energy dynamic uh whereas the acrylic or oils or gouache they have uh they have matter they have uh, uh more strength and more body to the paint so uh this is that exercise so just to wait for the magic to happen i am going to use three pigments uh cadmium lemon it's a yellow so just three primary pigments uh quinacridone red it's a uh, modern pigment uh, and it's a transparent red and then cobalt blue and you don't have to have the exact same pigments if you're following along or if you're just watching and if you want to practice uh sometime later you can just have any pigments that are equivalent to these colors and as i go on i'll keep talking about why did i choose the c and not any others uh so i have these laid out in a triangle okay you can see well if not i will adjust okay um this is my magic wand can you see the magic wand here yeah so this will help me make make the magic happen <laughs> so welcome welcome if you're just joining and i'll get it closer 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 as long as this doesn't fall uh so this is the primary yellow red and blue just three colors starting with yellow i will be mixing something i don't know what is that in between yellow and red some people call it orange orange is a fruit <laughs> okay so i took more yellow less red because red is a color that has more strength than the yellow so i decided i made that choice decision to take more yellow less red So now this is a beautiful color that I just um, um 
and you know something like this i can do i can just bring in closer to you uh and this is a glass palette i'm using i like glass palette and it is white because it just mimics the um uh, white of the canvas so i can just gauge my colors against this white surface to that white surface so i mixed in an orange that i feel like is orange obviously uh it's in middle of yellow and red but what is i need another variation of orange so how about we take more red less yellow and what kind of orange is that going to give me okay i'll just adjust the placement of my red move it little further away uh so as i look at it it's still red it's not as um uh, as orange so i'll keep adding yellow until i receive that orange hue that is somewhere in between yellow and red leaning more towards red so i'll show you up close that i mixed two oranges one is yellow orange one is red orange so that's how you you know you can just have variations of a color that will help you achieve you know variety within your artwork um and it will also create changes within planes as we will see in actual painting demo okay moving on what happens between the red and blue purple happens between red and blue so i will take uh, my red and so more red less yellow oh uh, sorry i'm i meant blue the magic wand is indeed helping me mix these colors um get these hues to life now what happened as i mix this um this is pretty pretty deep this you know it's pretty deep so how can i actually bring out the hue that's where the white comes in this is gamlin's uh, um i think this is titanium white ra radiant white so i'll just add a bit of white onto my palette i'll just take a hint of white to mix it into my purple hue that i mixed just to bring out the hue so that it's not as deep as it was and i can actually see what hue that is so pretty happy with that mixture moving on more blue this less red still in the red and blue purple family the reason i chose the uh, uh, cobalt blue because it's the truest blue now what is the truest blue not uh, are not all blues are true are they false no they are not false uh true blue is is not leaning towards red there are some blues that are reddish purplish blue cool blue uh, sorry true blue is not leaning towards greens it's just somewhere in the middle a perfect blend of cool and warm so similarly i'll also add some white into this mixture this is such a pretty purple yeah. time to show you up close what is going on the palette so the paint i feel like the painting actually happens on the palette first that you are um, mapping these hues just learning the transition of these hues um, sorry the light is reflecting uh how this rainbow wheel is um, turning from yellow to orange to red and kids really enjoy this exercise and i feel um uh, as adults we too because this is so meditative just paint mixing uh no pressure of painting <laughs> so moving on going into my greens uh so this is a blue green more blue less yellow uh so for this hue this is a pretty beautiful green and the hue is evident so i do not have to add extra white 
adding extra white makes the colors cooler colder so when necessary i did add um, for the purples because the blue and red both were deep uh, hues so mixing them created a deeper hue that's where i needed white so now i'll make a beautiful yellow green so more yellow less blue okay and you you can you know readjust and adjust it doesn't have to be perfect at the first go just give yourself opportunity to explore the palette um if you feel that oh this just got darker and it needs something in between then you can you know take this take this and mix something in between there you go so you can expand just like there is you know infinite knowledge infinite wisdom and finite opportunities and possibilities out there uh, in the universe there are infinite ways to uh, expand there's no limit to expansion of how expansive i can have this palette um so it's just the idea of how you know how you are going to express and articulate this color mixing so if i want i can just mix in between these two in between these two that's how i can keep expanding secondly what i can do is um uh so depending on the time i will uh stop here but what i can do is i can keep making values so value is an aspect of color so for example for this red orange i just mixed a lighter value this is a beautiful uh, um peach like color so for all of these you can go along and add white into that and mix a lighter values so, okay closer look at the palette and chat hi welcome welcome if you're just joining welcome i'm so happy that you're here and let's begin so uh let's begin the actual paintings i'll turn the screen a little up if you have the reference image i shared with you uh please have it somewhere either on your screen or uh print out of it uh and if you don't have it just take a look at your email <laughs> uh so the setup i have is very simple it's super super simple setup um it's it's a lemon and uh, the lemon is sitting on a purple surface the sun is falling on the lemon so this is where i will start solving problems now what are the these problems these are visual problems that i'll be solving these are the problems that i set up for myself to 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 be able to enjoy them <laughs> while solving them uh so it's a lemon sunlit one side in light one side in shadow it's sitting on a surface so what is the drawing problem uh i am not going to draw with a pencil which you can absolutely do there are multiple ways to solve one problem and by learning several ways you ultimately um, you know get to your own unique problem so just with a small brush i uh oops okay little you can see everything uh so just took a little bit of uh, yellow on my brush and i'm just mapping out so the lemon uh i'm just mapping out uh the placement of the lemon uh if it's not visible i will uh i'll bring closer it to the screen i'm just going for some lines uh the these lines they're giving me the structure the idea of the lemon and i'll also speak about that what is that structure exactly so okay so if it's not visible let's change color is a little uh, deeper color um is that visible there Yeah, palette knife. Absolutely, I can share with which palette knife. Uh, this is this is the palette knife. It's the magic wand has so much color on it. 
uh, I can share the Amazon link. It is RGM Italy. And this is like a elongated diamond shape. It, it bends. So I'll, during my demo, I'll show you using uh, like painting with both brush and palette. So I am just mapping the shadow shape. Uh, the shadow is super elongated here. Uh, and I'm working faster now. <laughs> okay. You will see it eventually when as I start painting. So, uh, so let's solve one problem at a time. Um, not all problems at a time. So, what is this shape of this lemon? It's an oval. It's like an egg, elongated egg. It's an oval. So you can imagine this is an oval. Secondly, the shadow of that uh, lemon is also an oval but compare in comparison to that lemon this oval is a bit thicker so you can just simply draw ovals once you have those oval i'm going to now solve the next problem that is the shadow shape on the lemon itself so now it looks like that the shadow shape is dividing the lemon into two parts uh, when it's going down and it's wrapping around where that little bump on the le uh, lemon is. Uh, so that's how it is. And, you know, although I am attempting to be as accurate to my to best of my capacity, I don't have to be worried about it that you know what if this is not accurate it's fine as you paint you know those are there are many more chance chances along the way that you can keep articulating shifting evolving the shape so here is that finished um, block in drawing how about i turn this light on I don't know. Just let me know in the chat feedback if this is any better. Is it? Okay, I think this is fine. Cool. Okay, now we have the drawing. Um, so, so how do I paint now? How do I make the second decision? So solve the second problem. The second problem is the problem of light and shadow. The drawing problem solved. Um, let's celebrate that and move on to the next one. Light and shadow. What is that light and shadow? So when sun sun falls on something, it illuminates that. And as the form is turning away from the sun, there is shadow. And this whole thing is casting a shadow on the ground itself. So that is another shadow. So now the, this is where my color mapping, my colors, you know mixing comes in time to make new decisions and we are ready for it so i'll just show you how i use palette knife to paint so i'm just going to take it's a yellow lemon i'm just going to straight away take my uh, yellow and block in that yellow i need more color on the yeah this is um something interesting that if you don't have enough color or enough paint on your palette you'll be just painting with nothing so have paint to be able to paint so just spread it spread it spread it as if you're spreading butter on the bread and i'm making sure that application of this paint isn't as you know the intention is to make something fun something beautiful so the application of this paint is intentional it's um i'm making each you know palette knife movement count towards covering this real estate of the light side of the lemon Okay, that was simple. 
you just got the light the lemon is already shining with light okay now what about the shadow what's the sh color of the shadow do you have a color of the shadow is it um, so now i can ask these color questions solving the color problem is it orange i don't know somewhat i see some orange reflecting there okay so if i'm not sure i'll move on is it this red orange i don't think so is it this purple no is it this purple no it's is it this blue no is it this green i think so it's some kind of green it's not super blue green so it has to be somewhere in the middle of blue green and yellow green okay i found my hue take the hue and just put it there so start with clean this is the secret of starting with clean colors they are you know not they are identifiable they are nameable that you can name it oh green yeah okay and ultimately you're not keeping it green you're going to keep it uh, you're going to actually turn it to what you see so one more problem you're solving right now along with the color problem is the problem of how values so the shadows are deep, darker than the lights so that's something we have to consider and i'll also get that little shadow wrapping around here okay good clean 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 it's okay if the paint is moving along okay fine uh moving on what is the color of the light on this um you know background it's purple is it this purple this deep purple that i mixed if it is this deep purple it it won't make sense because you know light family shadow family different values and if you want to learn more about values i do have a uh, tutorial on how to paint like a value scale uh, so rajita rajita can share that with you on the chat and if you're just joining uh, uh rajita is uh, our monitor for the class today she's helping um me um filling all your questions so okay we're still deciding the color of this this is this here uh it's not yellow definitely it's not orange it's not red orange it's ooh but how about it's some kind of pink so how about i add some white into my red and see how that feels so it, it is it it's not as red as what i mixed but then this gives me the warmth of the light so i am just going to add this i, I want to create that shock of light that there is light falling on something you know it's it's just not a mixed color it is mixed with intention of creating that you know shock of light so i'll just do a quick time check oh okay the demo is getting longer i don't mind being here <laughs> i just want to honor your folks time so i'll make it super quick now okay it's like manual time lapse um no time lapse device is just hands working faster okay so this is where the palette knife comes in and you can cover larger surfaces super fast ah uh, and i'm going to leave also palette knife is helpful where um, you know you can just keep the paint clean uh as you mix mix and go mix and go mix and apply mix and apply so i want to take this demo to the stage that uh, that actually conveys what's there on the reference image so i'll make that attempt you welcome to enjoy okay now let's so uh, work so i'm not i'm not spending like you know lots of time in one area and worrying about it just what i have is like color note this is like a note of color note of color note of color uh so next was the value of the shadow so 
it's super obvious that it's this purple is the deepest so i will add that purple that i just mixed and if i feel it's still darker there is white so by the way yellow and purple they are complementary colors so what is complementary is something that is opposite on the color wheel um and they look awesome together so for example red and green are opposite on the color wheel they look like, look beautiful so for example all the holiday uh, decor um uh, is just pleasing because of the red and green okay that's how you super fast cover this okay now what does it is it giving you the impression of light i think so so let's continue work on it for 5 more minutes and now i'll uh, so i did the palette knife for first pass i'll do the uh, brush for the next okay uh, So I'll start working on the shadow of the lemon. So so go from the green. Uh, yeah, I decided that it was green. So working the new next problem. Uh, the next problem is refinement. So I do see some orange into that. So I'm like, okay, let's try adding some orange. And now this is called brush mixing, that you are mixing directly onto the canvas using the brush. Okay, here you go. So I'm still keeping the structure of the lights and shadows. I'm not, you know, losing that structure, and this is what gives that luminescent quality to your paintings, your artwork. Um, as you are, you know, working with hues. Now this is turning into an orange green, almost an ochre. so with just three colors we're doing this much and that's magic uh so i am not mixing as much that uh, it's like you know super blending into it and then losing its losing its individuality i'm just letting them co mingle as they are uh yeah uh and i can also work on the yellow and clean it up i'm not going to change yellow for now there are different color variations within the yellow that perhaps i can show you just a little bit so as the form is turning the yellow is uh, also getting a little orange there so i'll mix my yellow and orange together um and right next to the shadow where the it's turning i'll add that um yeah so this is how you sculpt planes with uh, uh with color so you just painting with color no um you know it didn't draw anything beforehand just sculpting articulating shapes with the color so that the form is turning and i'll show you the close up as well and there is you know there is no right or wrong way to do something so it's just your way which which one what's the method what's the idea that you resonate with perhaps try something now and then you know if you like something else better the next time try that just give yourself opportunity to experiment gather data have more fun okay working on continuing on i'll take a bigger brush So okay, I'll bring the background to its uh, its you know proper hue. Um, I am going to make blue, red. Um, just for the time sake, I am rushing this process. So I want to make sure as I'm changing the hue of the background, I still want to keep the value same. So this purple isn't oh, okay. It is dark. So. uh i don't want this purple to be super dark so let's see more more white into that so this is where you can also mix that with your palette knife for a faster experience 
Yeah, it was super dark when I tried it at the first. So more white. Okay, let's see how that feels. Uh, so I'm letting now this purple to co-mingle with the, you know, with the warmth in the back. And also this is another opportunity for you to articulate the shapes of the um, drawing. So many opportunities to work and rework, uh, but not letting yourself, you know, carried away uh, or pause at, you know, one stage and worry about it. Rather, just keep moving along. Um, yeah. And this is how that, uh, the drawing uh, or the picture is also coming along. The broken part, the fragments. They are uh, coming together into something whole, uh, something. So now I feel like, yeah, it's getting still, it's getting darker. The purple is getting darker. So I can simply add some white right on top of it. Well, I'm just enjoying this. Are you enjoying? Give me some feedback. Okay, we're almost, uh, so the demo, I'll, I can't wait you to show this up close. So let's just work a little bit on the shadow also, as long as we're doing this. Okay, this is getting close. Still, uh, I have opportunities to come back and refine the hue to bring it closer to the actual hue of the you know, background. So what, why the, why the lemon? Like why not a flower or a tree? So if you have a, a yellow flower, you can approach it this way. So what is this way? All you have to do is find the shape of the light, shape of the shadow, and what is the color of that shape of the light. So I'll just work on refining that uh, uh, that shadow a little bit. So articulate its shape to what I'm seeing and bringing this closer. Uh, There are so many variations within this color. So first you get like a strong, to get a strong start, you make a strong statement with bold colors that you can always articulate. Um, so if you, if you mix, uh, if you pre-mix a color together that you think you see, and then you apply on the canvas and then you're like, you know, that is not matching, it's fine. So that's why I start with some identifiable nameable hues so they give you you know a they give you something to calibrate your colors towards because unless it's it's all relative like one thing next to the other is all relative so i'll just let this shadow um, edge merge because i don't want like all edges to be super sharp so edge work is just another problem that uh, you keep solving as you're painting. So yeah, that's the, uh, okay, let's show you. Uh, so, you know, from abstraction, just like two abstract shapes to, um, to a more, more articulated, real looking uh, something here. Can you see it? I can't see if you can see. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Arsha. Uh, so this is how it is. Um, you're still maintaining that warmth of the light with that purple um, as you started with, uh, you know, and then refine and refine to bring it as closer to what you desire. 
to achieve so each stage is giving you feedback about something that you, you can work uh, what you need to work on uh, what you need to let go what you need to just keep so yeah like magic exactly yeah so uh, this is this is how my palette looks right now because i also brush mixed <laughs> And let's see if you have any questions. I will quickly check. Yeah, ask away any questions. Yeah. So palette knife, yeah, that was RGM Italian. I will show you one more time. Then paint on that now. It has a long pointy diamond-like shape. And the brushes I use are uh, mel multiple brushes. Some of them are rosemary. Some of them are, uh, uh, what is that brand? I, I will find out. So these are Princeton Aspen. Um, yeah, multiple brushes, any, like I just like to like, explore brushes, go to our art, art store, collect brushes, experiment, try them. And um, so, yeah, um, I, uh, as I shared, I, um, I came here uh, from India uh, to North America from, uh, as an engineer. And I, um, as I decided to do a career switch, um, I went to art school. I went to Gage Academy of Art in Seattle and studied there for three years. And uh, after that, I graduated from there. And ever since, I've, I've been um, painting full time and also teaching uh, classes. And uh, since pandemic, I started teaching online classes. <laughs> uh, so what um, what made you so... It was just a um, few, you know, few choices that I had to make that uh, as I came here, uh, uh, I did not have a work permit. So I was just sitting at home for like one year. So I did not have any friends and I was getting really lonely and frustrated. So I decided to just explore different opportunities. And uh, I started painting uh, from YouTube videos. <laughs> so someone told me that if you want to make a serious career in art, so have a uh, have an art training that is uh, um, that will help you achieve your goals so that's how I started uh, with my art training um, and now I feel like once I've achieved that goal I, I feel like I have that confidence to you know help my students to achieve their goal mm, that that way yeah uh, yeah I went to the uh, atelier program it was the color modern color that's how you know i i specialize in color because i'm coming from india it's a beautiful colorful place um secondly i learned color oh so the yeah the secret language of color yeah namika is asking so uh perhaps not many of you folks know about it so uh okay let's let's just talk about it then um so uh, yeah, first of all, I hope you learned something new from today's, perhaps from uh, the palette mixing or from the, um, you know, painting, you learned something new to apply to your studio practice. And I forgot to share something with you that tomorrow, November 5th is my birthday. Basically, it's two days of birthday because back in India, the birthday's already started. So I'm celebrating my birthday. <laughs> and uh, I am turning, I don't know how. I don't know. Let's let. It's a secret. In or you can guess. Um, you know, in the chat, oh, what I'm turning into. <laughs> uh, let's see who guesses it. So, um, yeah. So we have a little limited time here to demo. Like go, uh, take it deeper, deeper into all stages, or um, even color theory. Like I spoke about the yellow and violet being opposites on one another, uh, opposite to one another, and what's that? So. What are tertiary colors? Uh, what is the value? What is what are the you know different characteristics of color? Chroma intensity. So for example, we have uh, super high chroma. This yellow and the lemon is high chroma, whereas 
as we mix this uh, green and orange it's it's changing it's shifting its chroma it's still clean but now the chroma is muting so you know these ideas uh, even multiple uh, object composition like i you know like i painted my studio so this was just one object composition for the purpose of demo so multiple object composition so these are some things that uh, we didn't get to cover today uh, so that's something you can um, explore in my um, online classes um so that's something uh, anamika is talking about so yeah uh, i want to i want to invite you to it's a special invitation because it is my birthday and uh, uh you also um, have been a part of this webinar so i would like to invite you to explore the four weeks workshop it's called the secret language of color um and we talk that secret language <laughs> so uh, you get to learn as i demonstrate color construction of multiple object composition so if you look at my instagram there are many flower paintings uh, that i do with multiple different objects so that something like that it's an actual composition that i use to break down my method into four parts um throughout the course it's a four weeks of class moving from abstraction just with it today simple shapes into you know deep dive cover everything that we didn't get to so from abstraction to realism that's the goal you all using color and uh, by the end of the class uh, the result will be you will have a beautiful finished painting uh, that you can hang at your home or gift it to uh, someone or your loved ones uh, on the occasion of the holidays so this workshop is live on zoom so you can uh, do this workshop from anywhere um, from your home anywhere from our beautiful planet uh, and i will provide you with a simple and um, simple to find uh, material list and this can be done using oils acrylic gouache anything uh, so i'll provide you with the list and uh, uh, this i invite like this is what my take on art is that you welcome even when i teach yoga as i shared in my um, introduction that you know yoga is for every everybody some people like yeah i'm not flexible i can't do yoga but that's the idea of yoga is to bring all the elements into alignment you know mind body breath so that's the same philosophy i apply to the art that you know art is for everyone so no matter what level if you think you're a beginner if you think you are you have some knowledge absolutely fine that what is a beginner like who is a beginner who who is just beginning e even i was a beginner once and then through, through with practice it's still evolving my style is evolving perhaps if you look at my older paintings on instagram you can see that oh she did this like that and now she's doing this even i feel like that so so this class is for all levels and um, it just it's meet where you are at and then take yourself where you would like to go uh, what your goal is uh and i also offer zoom recordings it's, it's something like if you, you you're going to miss a class or something uh for anything you know doctor's visit or something then i'll offer you recordings that you can follow along and do your homework yeah there is homework <laughs> because you know all the things that you learn in the class you actually apply them so that's how you know build skills so uh and this is a boutique experience so i have like limited uh, seats where you can act this is something we didn't couldn't do today because it's a webinar style where i am speaking you're listening <laughs> you know in the class um actual zoom class it's not the same you you can actually interact with one with one another and with me uh that i you can actually see um you know your work on your easel and I offer you feedback like real time live live feedback and interaction it's a back and forth interaction com uh, communication so and live class as i mentioned it's a full judgment free zone uh, that all it matters to me that you are practicing you're building your mileage like the many canvases that you're doing you're building the that mileage of canvas and that's how you know you're building your skill um, and it's a skill set not just one skill skill set and discovering something new about you about your process so um yeah and that's i think that's what she asked <laughs> so yeah and about the secret language of color um uh, i will send you information uh if you want to drop your emails um uh, on the chat i can just send you 
uh and also as a special thank you uh gesture for making my birthday which is tomorrow but in, in india it started today so making my birthday so special and attending this webinar um if you're interested uh, just let me know that you're interested and i'll offer you a um, discount code uh, for priority enrollment as we begin the class next week um so you'll get all this uh, information via email if you just type in your email in the chat um thanks jermila um i hope uh, that's how you pronounce your name please correct me if i'm wrong uh yeah and uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions also via email uh, if you have any questions at all uh, about the class about the process um if you want to check out the box study i do have um, like multiple tutorials i'll, I'll just share uh, the box study tutorial with you here um yeah let me know just let me know and i'll be happy to you know grow with you um offer you you know mentorship offer you guidance and also learn from you <laughs> oh, wow that is awesome thank you so much yeah thanks jermila thanks for being here i'm so happy <laughs> yeah thank you and i hope um, to see you all soon in the class um if you have anything at all just reach out to me you have my email or find me on instagram yeah um yeah as long as we are here i can just show you uh i don't i think this is the best birthday party ever so this is my little studio i can show you something fun um this this that this is the multiple figure composition that i was speaking about um i hope you can see that that you know you have multiple objects not just one and then you're uh, studying the effect of um color of one object and the other and i can just show you a few more color studies Okay, I brought like tons. So these the, these are multiple color studies that I'm setting up the same object in different life scenarios, such as um, uh, you know, sunny day, or uh, this is uh, studio light, uh, or actually window light coming in from the studio. So just same same object, multiple studies. Uh, yeah super sunny this was super sunny so how you know that this is where the temperature of color comes in that uh, we didn't get to cover as much today uh, like how super warm this is the same exact table same exact background but this is like super warm compared to this you know that's yeah these are the concepts you will be learning in the class and i just love painting flowers so uh this was a demo in one of my classes so these are the uh just like a glimpse of what you will be learning and of course you will be learning to make color wheels feels like i'm just bringing all my studio here <laughs> so this is a color wheel uh same idea as we mixed different hues today this is a little expanded that we between the yellow and red you have three oranges one is leaning towards red one is more yellow and one is the neutral orange orange and so on so yeah the this is what you get in the secret language of color and uh your email sign up okay no worries uh yeah so uh yeah email sign up link i'll share, share it with you uh so we meet on tuesdays um and of course like if we if you have any uh, request uh, accommodation request just let me know and we'll make it work if a day doesn't work for you then we can just check with the group uh, what works best for all of us that's why like having a small group is um it's so great that we can just accommodate and as well as you know you can ask me for feedback and critique i can give you that individualized time uh so i hope i just shared the email sign up uh 
yeah so we meet uh, yeah i'll share this all this information with you via email we meet um four times a month same day same time um and then you get that whole uh, week span after uh, we meet and i demo and then you can follow along and then uh um you can just do your homework during that and then we build each week builds on the previous stage so you know today with this stage and the next week we will come back and just add uh, something add more articulations more color modulations to bring it into a full i mean this is just an example something more significant something uh, with a multiple composition and uh, you can work with your own setups or i offer you um, a uh, a setup uh, i offer you digital downloads like lots of reference photographs to work from yeah yeah oh the the date of the class it's starting uh look in it's actually starting on the 8th of november so we meet on the 8th 15th and i think we have a um holiday for the thanksgiving and then the week of 29th and 6th yeah yeah is i think i have your email i can just share that with you so you asked me for the start date and i gave you all other dates <laughs> we start next week on 8th yeah i'll be i'll be happy to have you and just yeah these are the ideas that you can apply to you know plein air painting so i do plein air painting i really enjoy that and we get like a little uh, we get a beautiful summer well it is not little this, this year it was long and so here in seattle in washington state we have a beautiful summer uh, that uh, i can go out and plein air paint um and i also started planting different plants um different floral plants in my yard so that i can just plein air from the yard um some now it's like cloudy uh and raining so this is the season that i'm in the studio and just i just apply all those ideas i learned from collecting from the field and actually create paintings here um so if you are a plein air painter you can just apply these ideas to your plein air sessions too yeah i'm just um checking with all of you hope you are doing well and also looking at the time in order to honor each other's time i from really the core of my heart i want to thank you for being here and making this so special for my birthday tomorrow <laughs> and uh, I, yeah i'm deeply deeply honored that you decided to spend your time and you know from all around the world it's um, it means a lot um yeah that someone cares so <laughs> thank you so much and i will share um uh, you will receive an email um so thank you and take care i hope to see you soon uh i will find out if this is recording or not if it, this is recorded and i can just share the recording with you all uh, if this is <laughs> this has recorded take care bye bye see you next time lots of love and enjoy your time bye bye thank you thank you many many thanks